Hi everyone and welcome to Crystal Clear University Guide and this is my special edition Freshers Week. So this entire vlog is going to be a combination of all my different experiences from Freshers. Uh, right now I am on day two, I've just had my first two Freshers events and just moved in on Saturday so I've been here now for well, really a full day and then obviously the day I moved in. And yes, yeah, so this is my outfit from the first Freshers event. As you can see, my usual background is now no longer with us because it's been left at home. So um, I'm sure I'll find a new setting for you guys soon. But in the meantime, please bear with me and enjoy this vlog on Freshers Week. <laughs> everyone so I was going to do a vlog tonight uh, during Freshers Week but um, as you can probably hear my um, <coughs> voice has completely gone so for tonight <coughs> I'm gonna leave it but I will definitely update you more with Freshers Week when my voice comes back and as the week goes on. Enjoy! It's now been a couple of weeks since the marvellous week of Freshers um, my voice has partially come back, but um, it's not completely there, so you'll have to bear with me a little bit apart from that. Let's dive right into Freshers Week. So I arrived to the uni on the 21st, and I was greeted with this beautiful little welcome box from the beautiful University of Chichester with lots of lovely goodies to help me settle in. On the evening of the 21st and the 22nd as well, because people move in over two days, we had beautiful welcome parties. So I went to the first welcome party on my first night, um, had an amazing time, met all the people I've been speaking to online, made um, a few new friends as well, and just kind of really settled in immediately, found some people that I get on really well with, which was really nice. Second night, um, there was another welcome party, but um, I didn't go to it as I wasn't feeling 100%, so me and my friend had a movie day, which was absolutely amazing, and we just watched movies that evening and chilled out, which was fun. So then that brings us to Monday, which was everyone's first full day of induction at the uni, which was amazing, and in the evening, the SU, which is a student union, put on a sign of disco. Um, I was going to go, however, in the lovely welcome box I just showed you, we were given one of these, which is a little spoons uh, gift voucher book with big savings, gives you lots of savings on different drinks, and me and a group of friends decided uh, we wanted to go try this out, so I actually did skip the sign of disco and went to spoons, but um, whatever you decide to do, I mean you have so many events available that the uni offer you, but you can just do whatever you like as well, so I think just do what you feel like, don't feel like you have to stick to a certain plan and just have a bit of freedom and fun. On the Tuesday, we decided to go to Film on the Field. We had two options on the Tuesday, which was go see a Film on the Field or go to Sheets. As part of my course in the theatre department on that night, we had a scare workshop in the evening, which finished just before uh, the Film on the Field, so we thought because we've had a long tiring workshop which was absolutely amazing and fun, could not fault it. Uh, we thought we'd just go watch the film on the field and relax and have some fun. After that we came back to Stockbridge Halls of Residence, which is the accommodation I'm with, and we just had a bit of fun in the common room before heading to bed. But Tuesday night was a very nice night, a bit more relaxed, but still a lot of fun. Wednesday was the day we'd all been waiting for, it was the Freshers Fair. I think loads of people were excited for Freshers Fair, I know I was because that meant signing up for societies and freebies, which everyone loves. So starting with societies, the uni has so much on offer, ranging from sports to performing arts to anything you want, like uh, environmental or art. Uh, I decided to sign up to the Acting Society and the Stage Combat Society. I've paid my society fees and I've started my a couple of sessions with both of them. I'm absolutely loving it. I think society is just a lovely way to just do something a bit different and have a bit of fun. As well as the start of the Freshers Fair, they had lots of freebies and I got a lot of cool stuff. So I got um, from I Love Tall, I got um, a cup which you can pop up. It's a, a magic pop up cup, which I just thought was amazing and I had a lot of fun with. Got um, food vouchers as well, they were offering free pizza and free McDonald's when you were there. There were also employees there for you to talk to if you needed a job. And yeah, I got a little Domino's book, which um, 
was amazing because it literally gives you so many good deals like any size pizza for a 10 pound like who wouldn't want that so i did that and i also got um a tote bag because who doesn't want one from um the theater which is the festival theater and obviously as a theater student that was a must have for me in the evening of the wednesday uh they had their second silent disco which i did decide to go to it was super fun um there were three different channels you could listen to there was like um, a classics kind of throwback channel uh, a modern pop music channel and a karaoke channel and you could just switch between them whatever you like such a fun night we did a massive conga line and like the entire massive a tent was in it and it was amazing. So on the first two nights, um, all the stuff was in the Z bar, but for the silent disco, they had them in a massive tent that was popped outside on the field. So you had a lot of a bigger space, you know, more room for DJs. It was just absolutely brilliant. On Thursday night, the university does karaoke, which is run by the theatre department. So prior to that, I went and watched my first performance, which was Burton Nazi's One with the theatre department. I bought a little performance card, which you can buy through in the theatre department, which basically £45 at the beginning of the year. And for the rest of the year, every show that's on in the showroom, you get to see for free. So we went to see Burton Nazi's One, and then we all went down to karaoke. Uh, sadly, I didn't sign up this time. I thought I'd just kind of give it a listen, but I definitely will have my moment of singing awfully in front of everyone. I promise you that. But no, I really enjoyed it. It was a really nice atmosphere. It was um, the whole department I was in with, but loads of other people come as well. It's just a really relaxed environment. Uh, you can have drinks if you want to, but you don't have to. Just have a sing, sing along with people. Uh, you can play like beer pong and stuff like that as well. It was just a great laugh, a really good night. So I'll put my hands up, by Friday night I was a little bit knackered so I did stay in but there was also another karaoke event called Step Up To The Mic on the Friday as well so if you didn't um, catch karaoke on the Thursday you could have caught it on the 27th as well. On Saturday night was the big phone party, I'll admit I didn't go to the phone party either purely because when I packed for uni I didn't bring any clothes, I minded getting destroyed and since it was only all my nice clothes I thought I didn't want to ruin anything so my top tip you're coming to Chichester and you're gonna do Freshers Week is bring clothes you want to get ruined because the phone party is a great night and you will absolutely love it. On the last night of Freshers Week they had a pub quiz so that's where you get a little sheet and you answer the questions by the quiz master, you pay a pound to take part and you get into teams of four to six. So my team came awfully, we came 11th when I did the pub quiz. I didn't do it during Freshers Week but I did do it a couple of weeks afterwards and it was absolutely amazing. So that was Freshers Week. I hope you guys have found this video insightful, giving a little bit of an insight into what Freshers Week is about, what it's like. Uh, alongside Freshers Week, you do do your um, induction as well for the uni. So I went to a lot of induction classes, um, lectures explaining the course for me. So obviously I'm on theatre. With theatre, they did talks with us about what the course was like, uh, got us going, got us going to workshops. In your first week as a student in the theatre department, you're cast in third year cycle productions where basically the third year's direct you, the second year's assistant direct you and you'll perform. And yeah, I got cast into my first cycle which I'm very excited for and I just can't wait to get going with everything now. So I hope you've enjoyed this little vlog. Uh, comment below if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to do another vlog or answer in the comments. But apart from that, that's it from me.